Everybody, I'm Dan Pascucci, and welcome to another exciting edition of Everything But the Kitchen Sink, Mansfield Cable Access's premier talk show within our time slot. As always, the way to get a hold of us is for any reason whatsoever, and that means if you want to be a guest on this show, if you want to recommend a guest, if you have a question for a guest, um, thumbs up, thumbs down, you like what we're doing, the all-purpose way to get a hold of us is on our email account at mansfieldkitchensink at gmail.com. And there it is right in front of your screen every time. I want a special shout-out for our good friend, Mr. Jack O'Neill, who does all the levers and buttons and like, uh, like uh, mission control in there and makes us look good every week. And also, we are on Facebook under Everything But The Kitchen Sink TV Show. And you can find us on talkmansfield.org. That being said... Got to do my weekly uh, shout out to uh, the furry friends at the Mansfield Animal Shelter down on uh, 175 Fruit Street, okay, at mansfieldshelter.org. And they're the, they're the ones that uh, always need some help and really have no way of asking you themselves. So, you know, got to remember the furry friends, especially this time of year. And uh, so that's, that's our weekly thing. Now, a little bit of an update on something, and that's our, our good friend George Dentino uh, had a pretty much horrific auto accident uh, several weeks ago and he he, he got uh, he got uh, hurt pretty good um, he un he had to go and he had underwent surgery today or ye uh, yesterday actually he underwent surgery yesterday on on some of the vertebrae in his in his in his neck area and uh, he was having trouble moving and having trouble feeling and uh, I saw him Saturday and um, he was a hurting unit um, so he had a successful surgery yesterday. I went to see him at the hospital today, and, and he's doing much better. He's, uh, he was able to move around. He's got his feeling back in his arm, and, and, and also he, he's got his voice back because they had to do some stuff with that in order to access his, you know, the, his neck and whatnot. And he actually walked up a couple of stairs with his therapist and walked down and up the stairs. And so, and he was uh, you know, asking questions and and about uh, last night's selectman's meeting, so we know he's, he's feeling better, and uh, hopefully he'll be. Uh, you see, still, it, you know, it was a very serious surgery, and he's got he's got a, you know, a while to get better before he's back to you know, jogging and whatnot, and you know, lifting weights and all that cool stuff, and uh, you know, riding that mechanical bull again. But uh, you know, we wish George the best, and uh, hopefully he'll be back you know sooner than later, and. Uh, you know, if there's any updates, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Now, we're going to do some cool things tonight. We have lots of guests tonight. Okay, this is good. This is good. We're, we're going to, we're really good. We're going, we're going to do the, we run the gauntlet tonight. This is great. Uh, a while back, we had our good friend Joe DiTrolio came over and did a show on beers from around the world. I know it was a winner. And uh, Joe is very active in the Boy Scouts and, uh, we talked and then we wanted to get some scouting stuff on and it, it's very appropriate that Joe came now which is in his busy time for his line of work and he took some time out of a very busy schedule and he was able to round up a couple of uh, the finer scouts from Troop 7 and they have their annual Christmas tree sale That's right. okay and this is a nonprofit deal this is for scouting right and so we wanted to talk about that and get some information about uh, your troop we want to you know, introduce a couple of scouts, and we want to talk Christmas trees. So yeah. with that in mind, it is my pleasure to, to uh, introduce Joe DiTrolio. Hi. And we have scouts Ben and Dante. Dante. There you go. All right. So how, how are you guys doing? Good. Excellent. Pretty good, thanks. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules also. I see you are in your, your official scout uniforms, and truth be told, I myself was once a Boy Scout, along with uh, FinCon member Jim Lazaro a long time ago, wow. maybe a hundred years. Could be. Yeah, and that Could was the be. old At troop, the beginning of scouting. Troop 43 in Norwood, and I still remember the oath and everything, so there's going to be a test later, okay? <laughs> so I just want to let you know that. And, and no, you do not get a merit badge for appearing here. Oh, okay, oh. one thing I want to do. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so everybody can see your, 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 your badges there. 
So, anyways, Joe, it, it is that time of the year. It is. And it is. so, Troop Seven. Yep. Is Troop Seven. We're out of St. Mary's, St. Mary's Church in Mansfield. Okay. And we are a, a young troop. There was a, there had been troops there forever, and when the last troop, um, when the last troop disbanded, uh, we were asked to start a troop again because those of you who are uh, parishioners of St. Mary's know that it's it's a large parish, lots and lots of kids. So the need was there. So uh, the scoutmaster had um, been had been very involved, as had I, with the Cub Scouts for for years since our sons were in, and uh, we so we took on the challenge of starting a new troop. And anyway, it's out of uh, out of St. Mary's, and there are three troops in town, and so we're the youngest. All right, and how young is young? Young is we're a year and a half old. Whoa! Yep. New kids on the block. Yep. Wow. And now, now what we do, you do fundraising for your, for your troop activities. We do. Yep. Okay, and this all goes 100% to scouting. 100%. All the, um, what a lot of people don't know, like many other organizations out there, but it, it, the information doesn't come out, it's all volunteer. All of the leaders, the parents that do things with scouting, it's 100% it's volunteer based. So it's uh, uh, giving you money to scouting is great because it all goes to program. So these boys will raise this money and it can go towards summer camp, it can go towards camping trips, it can go towards um, equipment for, for these trips. Uh, it um, is the, basically, the, but, but scouts, unlike some other organizations, the boys decide, so they run it. It's, it is, um, it's unique in that the adults are there as advisors and guides. The boys properly run. Cub Scouts is different because they're younger, but these boys now, when they move up at age, at age 11, um, they, they run the show, and we just we just advise them. Okay. Now you, you had said summer camp. Where where is that around? Now where does that? Well, there are there are many summer camps. Where's uh, the one you like to go to? It, that's hard to say. We um, we've been to two, um, and um, and the boys liked both for different reasons. So we've been to um, uh, Hidden Valley up in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. up in Gilman, New Hampshire, and we've been to Camp Yago, which is in Rockville, Rhode Island. Oh, very nice. Um, both have different things to offer. Um, they're both really nice, great programs. Uh, I have to say I like them both. Some have better foods than others. Some have more activities than others uh, for what the boys need. So. Is the food good? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yep. All right, do you take turns doing the dishes and everything? Actually, yeah. at the summer camps, they do the dishes for you. What? The, now, wait a minute now. <laughs> but now at the, excuse me, but <laughs> at the other camps, we get stuck with the dishes. Oh. The other camps, so regular camping. Uh, regular, okay, because I know at summer camp it, they had a machine, but we had to wash all the dishes. And the oh, machine really? was a sterilizer. Oh, the but that the was a long time ago. Yeah, the boys are responsible for um, uh, serving all the food to their units and clearing the table. So you sit in groups, and they there's an assigned boy every day, and they're responsible for latrine duty, keeping all that clean, yep. uh, policing the campsite, uh, their inspections every day. There's a lot of discipline that's taught. Um, it's, it's a great program for the boys. Yeah, and we have the honor guard. Does that change daily or? Uh, it, it will, yeah, it will change daily for, Rotate. yeah, for the, for the colors. Okay, yeah. okay, and that raising and lowering the flag and the, 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 the ceremony that goes along with that, and mm -hmm. it's all good stuff to learn. Yeah. But we are here to talk Christmas trees. We are. Okay, so now we have Christmas trees, and I, I take it you have a large supply of Christmas we trees, do. We trees do. to sell. We do, a lot. And uh, what kind of trees do you have? Are they, you have more than one kind? We or? have green ones. Green Most ones? of them are tall, some of them are short. Really? All those kinds of trees. Smell like pine? They do. Okay, any smell like fir? They do. We have, uh, there, there, um, there are pines and there are fir trees. Most of them are firs. Um, exactly what we have this year, I, I can't tell you, I didn't read it, I didn't read all the tags, but there's a selection. You do have a standard, variety. Standard trees, yeah. All shapes and sizes. Yeah. Do we have a Charlie Brown type Christmas we tree? We do. And uh -huh. believe it or not, the first tree was sold this year, and I looked at it and I said, no one's ever going to buy it. And some people came along very excited, a nice young couple. I think it looked great on our end table, and they snatched it up very excitedly. Excellent. Now, if we wanted to buy a tree, yeah. where would we have to okay. get one? So where you get, where we're, um, Mansfield's great because uh, there are so many places to buy trees in Mansfield. So if you're for anybody celebrating Christmas, it's, it's ideal. Uh, we are just off um, uh, 106, just um, over the, the, the line in front of All About You, the All About You Salon. Okay, so just over, right over Foxborough, yep. so right near yep. the Holiday Inn. Yep. yep, people, the folks there were very kind and um, asked us uh, last year, actually, if we'd come there. And uh, They asked so, you. Yep, and they're very, very kind. And 
so we're enthusiastic, uh, enthusiastically asked us again this year, and we said yes, and so that's where we set up. All right, so this is an important thing. Now, this, is, this, is, this, this raises a good amount of money mm -hmm. so that your, your programs can continue, and you do all your own, you, you finance yourselves this way. It's the biggest single fundraiser of the year, yes, it is. Okay, and so it's a very important one. So it's important that, uh, you know, if you, you know, and, and basic, they're the same trees that you pay a lot more for probably at other places. I don't, I don't know what you play in other places, but the Boy Scouts certainly um, are not out there. This, this, it's not their livelihood, right. but it's their main fundraiser, so they um, they charge fair prices for the right. trees. And it's the same same quality. Same you quality get tree. Yeah, we get garden the stores and same whatnot. Same brokers. Yeah. Same brokers. Same same roots. Same exactly. Same roots. Well, you know. Yeah. Same roots. Okay. Excellent. So and so you're at uh, you're on Route 106, and yep. just outside the All About You spot, right in front, whatever yep. that is there. And yep. it's, it's right at the corner, basically 106 in Hampshire Street, around. It's right there. You go under the bridge, and now what are. hours are you there? When okay. can when can you buy a Christmas tree? You can buy a tree, uh, Monday through Friday, five to eight, Saturday, nine to eight, and Sunday, eleven to eight. Okay. Now does that change it? Closer to the holiday, or no? We're still way off from Christmas. We still have plenty of time. It will depend, obviously, if trees run short, it might change. Um, I guess we'll just we'll just see. But that's our planned hours to run through until I, th I want to say the 21st to 22nd of okay. December. And then uh, when you guys are all sold out and clean and all cleaned out, you guys clean up and everything after yourselves and take oh, care yeah. of everything. Oh yeah. Make Dante stay late. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. Excellent. <laughs> We also have sell wreaths too. Many of the, uh, uh, many people sell wreaths. We sell wreaths. You as sell, well. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. so that's good. Yeah. So you can get your your Christmas greenery from uh, from the guys who wear green. Right. Okay, and right. you look good for the guy who wears red. Right. Okay, that's excellent. Now uh, I want to just uh, sure grill your scouts here for a second. Okay. Now, how how long have you been a scout there, Mr. Ben? Hmm. Let's see. There's the four years I've been. Actually, it will be four years this year. I've been in Boy Scouts as well as the five years in Cub Scouts, so nine years. Excellent. And how about you, Dante? I was in Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts at the same time he was. I was okay, so four so and five years then. Yeah, I've been in Boy Scouts for three years, so it'll be my fourth year. Okay, and what is your current uh, stature, your rank? Well, he is the senior patrol. Oh, wait. No, wait, the rank. Let's call. <laughs> oh, well. well Star Scout. Star Scouts, huh? That's what the star is, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, that's right. Now, you start out, let me guess now, is it still Tenderfoot? Yep, still the same. Still Tenderfoot, mm -hmm. and then second second class, mm -hmm. first class, star, explorer. Life. No. Life. Life. Okay. I don't know they had a life back in those yeah, days. Yeah, they did. Sure they did. Yeah. You just don't remember. It's, no, it was a long time ago. I remember now they also have Scout, which is basically like you need to Join them in the square knot, some real simple stuff before attending. He's, he's right. There, there is the scout rank, the first one you earn. Okay. So, yeah. And I see you're both loaded up pretty good with merit badges. And, and let me see now. I, there's some of them I, that uh, I recognize. And we did some sailing and some canoeing. Okay. Now, what's the one? What is this, uh, this one right here with the uh, fish jumping out of the water? Is that, uh, what is that now? Paragliding. <laughs> oh, teasing, it's fishing. Yeah. Okay. It's fishing. All right. And then uh, how about, uh, let's see, what do we got here? How about this one with the Liberty type bell there? Citizenship. Citizenship. Why don't, why don't we go down the line? Start at the top here. We get the sailboat. Sailing. The black one is? Wood, wood carving. Wood carving. You're good Which, at that? I mean, woodworking. No, no that's, like, that one's. Um, wood. That one's actually a really unique one. Um, they they brought it back for the hundredth anniversary year. It's, okay. it's uh, actually carpentry merit badge. Right. It's like a, a, one, a wood plane is yeah, what, it what it looks it like. Yeah. The paddles yeah. are canoeing. They now. Can, they discontinued this one, and then but they brought it back for just one year. Okay. Now what's this one that looks like skateboards? Skating. This is the swimming merit badge. Yeah. The reading merit badge. The marine biology one, oh, very citizenship good. in the nation. Hmm. This one, rowing. rowing and fishing. Yep. Citizenship in the community and environmental science. Very good. Now you have a couple of different ones over there, Mr. Dante, and uh, I have a question. What is this uh, one here that looks like that? What is uh, that? That's shotgun shooting. Shotgun shooting. 
Very good. So, okay. So you're a marksman, are you? And then the uh, one with the green tent? That's, uh, that's camping. That's camping. Okay. And the one with the totem pole?